deer season. It's 549. Okay, I'm just going along the edges of these choppings and it's pretty loud walking so I'm just doing a little like doe bleats with my mouth to try to sound like a doe walking along and I was just going down the skid trail and I found a fresh doe track. The moss is frosty and frozen and the doe track right there is uh, pretty fresh. Stuck again right there. So, there's definitely deer around.
Okay, here's the car. I've been walking all day and I haven't seen anything. Haven't seen too much sign, so there's a couple more hours of daylight, but I'm just gonna call it quits and head home and get some dinner. Just kidding. <laughs> I would never do that. Um, I've been walking for a couple more hours, still hunting, and haven't seen much for deer sign. I've been looking for signposts, um, doing some grunts and doe bleats and just trying to hear deer and haven't really seen anything other than a few partridge. So I just finished a big loop I started here in the beginning of the day, walked down, across the river, went north, did a whole loop, and decided that since the best sign that I've seen all day was where I started, I should end there. So I'm going back there. I'll just drop some stuff off here that I don't need. And it's like a 20 minute walk from here down to the river, cross over, and find a nice spot to sit where I saw that doe track this morning. And um, <clears throat> that's where I uh, spooked some deer last fall when I hunted here. So give it another like hour and a half sit until dark and you never know what will come by. Let's see what happens. Okay, I just found my spot to sit because I found this. I think it's from a deer since it's on a brown ash. But it is really high. It might be a small moose rub. It goes up to about six feet. So that might be a moose rub.